English. English ang gusto ko na. Candidate ka lang. English, Tagalog. English. English, Tagalog. English. Tagalog. Ano makulit ko? English. Okay. English, Tagalog. Bahalan. Okay. Kaya translate na lang natin. Twice ko lang pong babanggitin or rather uulitin po yung question na Otherwise, wala na po. Okay. What would you say to someone thinks that pageantry is irrelevant? What would you say to someone who thinks that pageantry is irrelevant? Sa Tagalog, ano ang sasabihin mo sa taong nag- Iisip na ang patimpalak na pagandahan ay walang katuturan. Ano ang sasabihin mo sa taong nag-iisip na ang patimpalak na pagandahan ay walang katuturan? Thank you for the wonderful question. Ano daw po ba ang sasabihin ko sa... Sa taong nagsa nagsasabi na ang... Hawak mo talong! Ang patimpalak na ito ay hindi... Ay hindi paganda... <laughs> na ang font yan, bold pa yan ha, bold ang font, ha? In the area, out to to in Kines, ho? Go na. At daw po ba ang sasabihin ko sa taong nagsasabi ng walang katuturan ang patipalak na ganito? Isa lang po ang sasabihin. Sa akin! Bak lang to? Inahawin mo ba ako? Tinarap mo ko, nanay mo ko. Huwag ka ganyan na tumingin ka, let's face the reality. Oo, sige. Isa lang po ang sasabihin ko sa tao. Kahit walo. Isa lang po ang sasabihin ko sa tao na sasabihin ito. Ito ay isang huwag makailang. Kung baga ito ay... Hindi ako nakikailang, ikaw may sagot niya. Dahil sa patimpala ay walang laban na hindi nananalo. Huwag kang titira ng bulok na rugby, ha? Ako yung nahamon mo ay yung mga hurado. Lahat ng atsutsu, ay ba't ako? Wala ko alam siyan. Ako nanay mo? Ito lola mo? Ay sa akala, dito kami. Nandito kami ng janka. Ay naku, saan ba kumukuha? Okay, candidate number two. Hi, B! It's number one. Nak! Laban! Sabi nga ni Miss Maan, papangon siya at tuturugin niya tayo. Okay. Question number... Okay, your question. What is your basis of what is right and what is wrong? Ano ang basehan mo ng tama o mali? I repeat. What is your basis on what is right and what is wrong? Ano ang basehan mo ng tama o mali? For me, ladies and gentlemen, the basis of the between the right and wrong is that doing right makes you makes the make people around you happy and they are supporting you because they know that you are doing right and for me the the basis of doing wrong is the things that the people are thinking that it is not suitable for you to do because they think that it will not good for you or it will not show good to the good to the people that you are doing that so for me as long as you are doing good and the other people it's reciprocating to other people for me you are doing good and once you once someone or once other people told you that it is wrong you should stop because they are the one who are seeing what is the right or what is the wrong and i thank you hindi niya na intindihan charot thank you so much candidate ready for the talent ayan ready na kayo sa talent ha Let's move on to our third candidate, Ms. Yang La Victoria.
Alam mo nung bata si Ray Jesse, hindi ka niya talaga kamukha. Sobrang ganda mo, Pe. Ah, ba lang question? Okay, this is your question, Miss Yeng La Vitoria. If you could change one law in our country, what would it be and why? Kung may babaguhin kang batas sa ating bansa, ano ito at bakit? Okay, again. If you could change one law in our country, what would it be and why? Kung may babaguhin kang batas sa ating bansa, ano ito at bakit? Thank you so much for this very long question. Ladies and gentlemen, if I am going to change something of the law, and the law should be recognized by the Philippines Constitution, what would it be and why? Most definitely, be, it would be aligned with what I believe in my values as a person. I'm a very nice person. Mabait po ako. Nagbibigay po ako sa mga namamalimos. However, in our Philippine Constitution, the anti-mendicancy law does not support it. Bawal po tayo magbigay ng limos dahil tayo makukulong. So if I'm going to change something of the law, it will be that specific law. Why? Because I can help those people. We can help in small ways that we can. Sila naghihirap tayo hindi man masyado. Bakit hindi tayo tutulong doon sa mga taong nangangailangan dahil tayo ang mas nakakaahon. But always take in mind, ladies and gentlemen, that the blessing that we have here should be shared by everyone. Huwag nating sosolohin ang binibigay ng Diyos. Dapat lagi natin yung pangungudmud sa bawat isa. Just like this competition of tonight. Thank you so much to the organizer. Kaya namungudmud ka ng iyong dancing. Thank you. I read the question twice. What attitude of yours are you afraid to lose and why? Sa Tagalog, anong ugali mo ang takot kang mawala at bakit? Ulitin ko. In English, what attitude of yours are you afraid to lose and why? Anong ugali mo ang takot kang mawala at bakit? Thank you for this wonderful question. Ang ugaling ayaw ko pong mawala sa akin at bakit ito po ay ang respeto. Bakit? Dito sa ating mundo ang ginagalawan, hindi na nga po ako re-respetuhin ng mga taong nakapaligid sa akin. Hindi ko pa po re-respetuhin ang aking sarili. Bagkus! <laughs> dahil, dahil dito sa ating mundo ang ginagalawan, kung wala kang respeto sa iyong sarili, hindi ka re-respetuhin ng mga taong nakapaligid sa iyo at hindi hindi ka nito mamahalin. Yun damang po at maraming salamat. Thank you. And our next, our candidate number, number five. five. Let me remind to you, everyone, like what number four says, respect. Okay. <laughs> Miss Jenny Pasqua. Okay, sis. Okay na. This is her question. Is technology hurting our communication skills? Why or why not? Is technology hurting our communication skills? Why or why not? Ang teknolohiya ba ay masamang nakakaapekto sa ating kakayanang makipag-ugnayan? Bakit oo? Bakit hindi? Ang teknolohiya ba ay masamang nakakaapekto sa ating kakayanang makipag-ugnayan? Bakit oo? Bakit hindi? Maraming salamat po sa magandang kasagutan. Oo, dahil ito po ay nagkakaroon po tayo ng magandang komentasyon sa ating magulang. Makakausap po natin sila pag sila ay nasa malayo. Hindi. Dahil nagkakaroon ng mga bata na natututo sila sa mga masasamang salita, nakakaroon sila ng mga hindi magagandang Panood sa Facebook. Ayun ang maraming salamat. Thank you so much, candidate number five. Followed by number six. Miss Dimples, remind. Uh, 
Judges, wait lang po. Focus po tayo sa ating mga candidates. Okay. Okay. Your question, if money cannot buy happiness, can you ever be truly happy with no money? In Tagalog, kung hindi nabibili ng pera ang kasiyahan, kaya mo bang maging tunay na masaya kahit walang pera? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, panel board of judges. I always believed when I was a kid, my mother always telling me that money makes the world go around. Pag may pera ka, makapangyarihan ka. Pag may pera ka, mayaman ka. Pag may pera ka, kaya mong saklawin ang tao. But try to think of this. There are rich persons na nanatiling umiiyak at malungkot. It is because hindi nila kapiling ang kanilang pamilya. So for me, ladies and gentlemen, what is most important is not the money itself. As long as may kaibigan kang nakasalalay at tumutulong sa'yo. May pamilya kang sinasatingan. Kailanman, hindi mo kailangan ng pera. Dahil pagpikit ng iyong mata, pagtuwin ng iyong paa, pagpasok mo sa hukay, kailanman, hindi mo madadala ang kayawanan. Ngunit, ang pagrespeto, pagunawa at pagtanggap ng mga taong nakapaligid sa'yo, patuloy kang ahalalalim hanggang sa dulo ng walang hanggang. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much, candidate number six, Miss Dimples Remind. Moving on to our candidate number seven, Miss Queen Paula. Gasini Ganado. Yes, me. Okay, judges. Give to relevant purpose why people passed away. Give to relevant purpose why people passed away. Magbigay ng dalawang mahalagang dahilan kung bakit namamatay ang tao. Magbigay ng dalawang dahilan kung bakit namamatay ang tao. Thank you so much, ma'am. Ladies and gentlemen, the question was given to me is that magbigay nga daw po ba, magbigay daw po ng dalawang dahilan kung bakit pumapano o namamatay ang tao. First reason, they finish their mission in this world. Simple as that, tapos na ang mission nila na daw pa nandito sa ating mundo, nagawa na nila ang kanilang gusto dito sa ating bansa o sa ating mundo ginagalawan. And secondly, that would be that is the perfect time for them to face God. Because that is the perfect time for them to be able to say thank you, to say sorry for what they've done here in earth. But one thing is for sure, death is not an ending, but rather, it is a new beginning for an entire life. Thank you. Last candidate, Ms. Sodi Santa Maria Torino. Okay, quiet. Judges, focus. If you were a pageant judge, what would what would be your basis to see the title holder crown? If you were a pageant judge, what would be your basis to see the title holder crown? Kung ikaw ay mag magiging murado sa patipalak ng pagandahan. Ano ang magiging pamantayan mo ng pagpili ng mananalo? Kung ikaw ay magiging murado sa patimpalak ng pagandahan, ano ang magiging pamantayan mo sa pagpili ng mananalo? Thank you very much for that very wonderful question. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I will go going around the bush, but I'll answer it direct to the point. Giving you a bird's eye view, this pageant is not just a pageant to show beauty, talent, and wit. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen, this platform or this pageant is also an avenue for us to express our voice, our opinion, and our diversity. Ladies and gentlemen, if I'll be given a chance to be in that pedestal and choose 
who is the one. The thing that I will think and I will choose is not just the beauty, not just the talent, not just the wit that you possess, but it is the passion for you to share what you have to show to the people that you are not just a contestant, but you are in the... Thank you very much. But you are a candidate, a candidate sharing compassion, sharing your vision, that stepping on this stage is not just a waste of time, but this is for us to be explored, for us to be seen, and for us to be recognized. That beauty pageant is not just a platform, a stage, but this is a celebration of beauty, diversity, that gays, transgender people will always exist and never, ever be eradicated. Follow me if I'm right, correct me if I'm wrong. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our candidate number eight, Miss 